Hello friends, welcome to this lecture on oxyfuel welding. This type of welding is also known as gas welding. So in gas welding, the heat re required for welding is obtained by mixing oxygen and a fuel. In this video, we will assume our fuel to be acetylene gas. Okay. Uh, the welding torch is moved along the uh, weld zone in this manner and then the joints are welded. In gas welding, uh, separate filler rods are, are used um, so that we can deposit some metal uh, on the weld zone, okay, in the weld pool. This is how a welding torch looks like, okay. The torch is connected to an uh, oxygen cylinder as well as an ox uh, acetylene cylinder. With the help of uh, these two regulators, the flow of oxygen and acetylene can be controlled very conveniently. So when uh, the two gases in required proportion mixes uh, inside the mixing chamber of the torch, a flame is obtained at the nozzle tip which carries out the actual welding process. Let us now try to understand the chemistry of gas welding process in details. Oxygen and uh, acetylene from the cylinders flows inside the welding torch and then the mixing, uh, in, the, in the mixing chamber a reaction takes place which results in the formation of carbon monoxide and hydrogen and finally some heat is produced which uh, which accounts for the one third of the total heat produced okay after this stage in the in the second stage when the reactants when these reactants come out comes out of the nozzle tip and uh, reacts with atmospheric oxygen carbon dioxide and some water water vapor is produced along with some additional amount of heat this heat accounts for uh, the major share around two third of the total heat produced um, in the entire process okay now by controlling the regulators we can um, we can we can decide how much oxygen and how much acetylene we want so based on this we can have three types of flames the first one is the neutral flame where the percentage of oxygen and acetylene inside the uh, welding torch is ex exactly same uh, next if the percentage of oxygen is more than acetylene, the flame becomes small and narrow. This type of flames are also called as oxidizing flames. Now, these are uh, harmful for welding of steels as risk of oxid oxidation is very high. These are used mainly used for welding of copper or copper based alloys. Finally, if we allow more acetylene inside the welding torch, then th uh, this flame is called carburizing or re reducing flame. This type of flames are actually used in, uh, in the brazing or soldering purpose which we will discuss in, in some other video. So these are not used in uh, metals which absorb uh, carbon. Now just like oxyacetylene welding, we can uh, also have oxyhydrogen, oxypropane or oxypropylene welding and so on. But usually acetylene is used because the temperature obtained from the reaction of oxygen uh, and acetylene is the highest. So we use uh, um, oxyacetylene gas welding. Okay. Finally, uh, uh, we have two major advantages of the gas welding. The first one is since we can uh, we can control the proportion of gas inside the welding torch, so better temperature control is possible. Okay. Secondly, since uh, we are using a separate filler rod, so the uh, filler deposition rate can also be controlled. Now coming to limitations, we have two limitations. The first limitation is that very thick and heavy plates cannot be welded since the temperature of the gas flame obtained in gas welding is, is much lower as much lower as compared to the arc welding. Secondly, acetylene uh, being a very reactive gas and the maintenance of, and storage is very difficult. So this was all about the um, uh, gas welding process. If you found this uh, video uh, useful, Please don't forget to like this video and leave a comment in the comment section. Uh, this will help, uh, this will motivate me to um, create more such informative videos in the future. Thank you.